Hello, my name is Dev, and today we'll be going over another Contain module tutorial. Today we'll be going over Simon Smuggers. Simon Smuggers is a module that came out relatively recently, and is pretty easy to identify. In reality, all he's doing it's is just pushing the same buttons he always buttons. has. Nothing, Nothing has changed. Of, well, a normal Simon. And with, I say five, but four main ones with a fifth submit button off to the side. And they will be transparent. This module doesn't require any Edward besides the first digit of serial number. So zero, and we'll remember that for our... for... I think that'll come up later. Now, you'll see that nothing is currently added on here, and you can't really do anything. To start the mod, you'll have to press the submit button. And an interesting, I'll say, quirk about this mod is that you can't have more than one active at the same time. The reason for this, I'm unsure, but my assumption is that because the lights cover the entire room, well, depending on what room you're in, uh, it'd be hard to differentiate them, or where it came from. I'm not entirely sure, but that's besides the point. Point is, you start to... You actually want to stay alive? And it won't start. So, what we want to do is... It's actually very simple. We're, we're barely going to use the manual for this mod. We only need the manual for a table that will the consult very briefly. However, everything else will be done in Notepad. And you want an arrangement similar to what I have set up here. Basically what I have is just a grid of dots. You can use whatever, dashes, pluses, and you name it. And you want to denote something that is kind of towards the center. It doesn't have to be the exact center, it just needs to be nearby. And yeah, that's all you have to set up for the main portion of this mod. If you're EFMing this, then you can skip the second part that I'll have down here, which is basically writing down the color and the direction. So for instance, I will just write down blue and up. And if you have a hard time telling the colors, in this uh, in this case, it's easy because of the room, but some rooms have weird lighting. If you have trouble telling what direction is flashing, you can always look in the center of a button and you'll see the circle that emits the light. So we're flashing blue and up. Now let's actually consult this manual. Just for a little bit though. All we need is to highlight this, uh, the table or the row that is equivalent to the first digit of the serial number. So, remember the first digit of the serial number being zero, as shown uh, somewhere here. Yeah, here. We just want to highlight the zero, which is going to be 2323. Three, three. And we'll just put this... Actually, I'll keep it up. So, you may be wondering, what do we do with, this, with that number, 2323? Three, two, three? Well, this module is four stages long. Each stage comprises of a new flash. So because we're in stage 1, we have one new flash, stage 2 will give another new flash, etc. And what we do with these flashes is we're going to put a square on the grid that is the same color as that flash. And do note that this module does use RGB, so if you aren't familiar with RGB uh, color edition, I would highly suggest looking at Sean's uh, Simon Sentence tutorial. I, he covers it pretty well. But I digress. What we want to do is we want to draw the square using the color. Now, th but the dimension of square is either going to be 2 or 3, and the way we get it is just the stage number indexing into the row. So because we're in stage 1, we're going to use the first number, which gives us a 2. So it wants us to draw a 2x2 two two square on the grid. And you may be wondering, where do we place it? Well, the center is always going to be where you start. We want to start in the center, and that will be the top left of the color. So, we have a 2x2 two two blue, so we're going to start here, right? And then we're just going to make a 2x2 two two square, making sure that this is in the top left. And in case you... To prevent your... Uh, excuse me. To prevent losing the center square, I usually denote the center if a color overlays it that I that you denote it with a lowercase letter while everything else is uppercase. You can do the opposite, it doesn't matter. Now, 
this isn't going to be the final permutation of the square. We are then going to shift it based off the directions of the flash. And for the first stage, we're just going to shift it by the one that, by the direction that it is, which is up. But for each subsequent stage, hmm, excuse me, for each subsequent stage, you're going to shift the new color you get by all of the colors shifted clockwise a certain amount. So, a two current perspective, right? Where in, what the, the shift is, you'll be shifting each direction 90 degrees clockwise based off the stage number minus one. So, in this instance, we're in stage one. One minus one is zero. So we would shift this direction of up clockwise 90 degrees zero times, which is obviously just zero, or it's just shifting zero degrees in general. So we're just going to not shift at all, and we're going to move it one direction, or one space, in that direction. And once you move a square, it is going to stay there. You're never going to touch it again. So, now that we have our final location of the square, what do we do? Well, all you have to do now is draw the square. The best way I've described this to people is, imagine Legos, but if it's 2D and also RGB. So for the first stage, you're always going to be drawing like one of two things. You'll always be drawing a 2x2 square or a 3x3 square. Now to actually submit this, you're going to choose a random arbitrary spot on this. Or not arbitrary, you want to be smart about it. And then you just want to draw the entire shape. Note that you cannot cross the same square on the shape twice in uh, not twice in a row, just twice in general. You have to visit every path, or every square exactly once. It has to be a Hamiltonian path. So, I usually always go from the top left in these, so starting in the top left, we're just going to go right. For these act as directions, by the way. We're going to go right, which brings us to top right. Down, which brings us to bottom right. And then left, which brings us to bottom left. We hit submit twice and you'll see why we hit it twice in the next stages. It, it, it looks weird in the first stage. Okay, now we have the color of magenta in the direction of print. So, for this stage, our direction, or not our direction, our size is 3. So we want to make a 3x3 three three square. So, still starting in the center, we're going to draw the top left of magenta, and we're going to overlay it onto our print grid. If we have any color that is similar, it's going to be, it's going to cancel out. So magenta and blue are both have blue, so it's going to be left of these two is red. However, I'm not going to draw it just yet. The reason why is because, well, if I were to start, I'd have to do red, red, and then magenta, and blah. And that's unnecessary. What we should do first is shift our directions and then go to or and then place our piece. Uh, okay. So because we're we're in stage two, we want to shift it 90 degrees clockwise two minus one times, which is one. So we're gonna shift every direction 90 degrees clockwise. So up goes to right and right goes down. So we can just write over here that up goes to right and right goes to down. And then we follow each one of these directions and then we place the square. So starting here, this is where our top, the top of the first square is going to be. We're going to go right once and then down. And now we can draw our 3x3 three three magenta square. So we're just going to do that instead. Now, like before, we're going to have to draw a Hamiltonian path. We have to pass it every color once. But here's why in the previous stage we have to hit submit twice. You can't just naturally cross from one color to another. There's a reason why it flashes RGB, and that is every time you cross a color, or you're about to cross a color, you must hit submit to distinguish to the, for the module to distinguish the color. The module does care about what color is on the mod, or rather the color groups, but it doesn't matter what color it wants. So what I mean I don't. Yeah. 
what I mean is that if I have all these wacky colors just lying about, right? The module doesn't care that I drew that I drew this path. Well, it does care, but it doesn't care about that alone. It also cares about these colors. So if I were to say that I like that white and red, that these two are the same color, the module would just strike me. And when the module strikes you, by the way, I should mention this, it will not reset at all. It'll just reset your input. So that's a good thing. So, whenever we get done with the color and we're about to cross over to another one, we hit the submit button to mark that we're going to go to a different color. You know that if you have to leave a color, you don't have to... Hmm, let me start the sentence. Know that whenever you press submit, you can't go onto the same color. You have to go onto a different color. Also, you don't have to get all of the same color in one path. You can... Let's see. Let's say we had uh, magenta here, right? Just because. So if we were to leave here, right? If we were to go from this magenta to blue, we don't have to visit this magenta at, uh, before we can go to this blue. We can just take a detour on this blue and then go back to this magenta. So that's it. It's a bit of a funky submission, but that it's whatever. But anyways, let's actually submit this stage. So, for this, I'm going to start at the center because it's going to spiral out, and we're going to hit this blue and make sure we don't hit the same the same square twice in a row. So, starting from the center, we want to go up to top middle, then right, down, down, left, left, up, up, and because we're going to switch off to blue, we hit submit to know that we're done with the uh, magenta. And then we continue on to our path. So now we we're actually on blue, and then we finish up blue. Hit submit to note that you're done with blue, and then hit submit again to note that you're done with the stage. Okay, now we have red left. Now, here's a good thing about this module: because all the rotations are happen simultaneously, directions are opposite of each other initially, just cancel out. So because right and left are opposite, we just do not care about what direction they are now. We just cross them out entirely. So, now then, we have a red, and it's going to be 2x2. Two two. So we're going to start here, and we're going to shift our up from the first stage uh, 90 degrees clockwise twice. Because stage 3 minus 1 is 2, so 180 degrees. So that's basically just inverting the direction, so up it comes down. So basically, we're gonna move right down. So, was it 2 by 2 I forgot? Yes, it was 2 by 2. Okay. So now we move down and we have the top left square. And we're just gonna place it on here. Okay, yeah, interesting shape. So, we're gonna do the same thing as before. We're gonna start in the center of the magenta, spiral out, and then hit this band for me, and then go into red. So, let's just move. So, up, right, down, down, left, left, hit submit to go into blue, then go up four times, one, two, three, four, left, down, going into red now, left, down, down, and then submit that stage. And finally, we have red and up. This one's going to be a 3x3, three three. and you'll notice, by the way, it, that all of these rows have two threes and two twos. So, that's just something to think about. Now then, we have all of these. We have all the information. We're on the final stage. So, we look at our starting spot, right? and we shift up 90 degrees clockwise three times because we're in stage 4, and 4 minus 1 is 3. You can also think of it as going one counter, by the way, for this stage. So up is going to go left. So both of these directions will take us left. And now we want right, or we want red to go left two times, or at least the top left to red. So this is where red starts. So we have red, red, magenta. I can override the center, by the way, because we don't need the center anymore. Black, because 
because red is going to cancel out with red and red red black. And okay, so this is a pretty simple All of the colors are together basically. Sometimes you'll have some really nasty paths and you have to like and you have to basically figure out a path that, that there's only one of. However, this one's very nice. So we can do the same thing we did before, where we start in the middle of the magenta, spiral around, go to blue, blah blah blah. You get the idea. So, starting magenta, we go up, right, down, down, left, left. Now we're gonna go into blue. Go up four times. Left, and we're gonna go into magenta, so we go down. Now we're in magenta. Uh, we're actually gonna hit this black as well, so down. And then go all the way to red, or do all the reds. And that's a that's a side Yes. I'll do another example slightly faster, and I'll do a I'll do one on a different ball, mainly because different edge work, you know. So I just control Z a little bit. There we go. Make sure to thank Sam Fun for tweaks, by the way. Just, you know, just because. In reality, all he's doing is pushing so the, the same buttons he always eight. has. Nothing so, has changed. Uh, pattern order is going to be two, two, three. Now we have red, and it's going down. So stage one being red, two by two. We're just going to have red go down once. yellow now. So yellow, and it's flashing left. So shifting down uh, clockwise ones gives us up, not up, geez, left, and left clockwise gives us up. So yellow in stage two is two, so we go left and up, and we have the yellow And this, this again, uh, this is also pretty easy to draw. So we just go right up left, let's do all red, and then we just do yellow. So right up left, then up up left down. We, we now have green left, which we're just gonna invert these because it's stage three. So down is gonna be up, and left is going to be right. And now our squares are going to be three by threes. So we want green to go up and to the right twice. So up, right, right. Uh, this is a very weird one. No fixing at all. All right. We can snake around this green and then hit this red and the yellow. So we start in the center. never happen ever again. <laughs> like that was that's really that's a really interesting uh, formation. Okay, so we can start at the bottom of this yellow, do all of three by just zigzagging. Uh, actually no. Ooh, actually this one's pretty interesting. I'm actually having trouble finding this one. Uh, so ideally, we want to 
want to echo here so we can okay. Okay, so this is the thing I mentioned before. You don't have to finish all of one color if you're right next to it. You can just come back to it later, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do eight of these of the nine yellows. I'm going to skip out on this one. Go to green and just do that. Uh, I should probably have it from here, like this. Hit this yellow and then do this. Actually, no, that doesn't work either. Okay. Probably gonna edit this to have fast forward of me not being gonna do. Hmm. Oh yes, I am an idiot. Okay, we can just start at the top left to the yellow, and then spark on like this. Okay. Oopsies. Have defeated the machine. But yeah, ideally this mod should take about one to two minutes. Well, one minute if you're if you're cracked at it. Two to two and a half if you're if you just know what you're doing. But anyways, that's all I have for this tutorial. If you like it, uh, ah, I don't want to become a YouTuber. I was gonna say leave a like. But if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I I don't believe I'm missing anything, but you, you never know things these unscripted tutorials anyways yada 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 get a job <laughs>